how much the movie was improvised. Busy Iron Man was coming out at the time, and John was like, John, I wrote this part with you in mind. And I was so flattering, and then I read that he has a tiny penis. So that was, but, um, what, what was the question? I, I, um, there, there was a picture online that he, I had short hair at the time, I was a wig, the Jufro, but he pointed out a very bad hair day that was caught on the right car, but he says, that's the guy! <laughs> so he made a wig. I was just very happy to fit into this ensemble. It's, uh, I started off as an actor. If I had been working in movies like this, where I really like how it comes out, like the director and the way that, and the cast and the experience of it, I don't think I ever would have gotten into filmmaking. I was very happy just being an actor. But the frustrations of going through the process and being in movies, especially comedies, where you don't necessarily share the sensibility of the of the movie when you see it, and you have so much hope, and it takes like a year and you see it, it's just disappointing. It makes you want to do it yourself and, 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 and try your hand at it. Uh, this film, it was just a pleasure to be able to go there, turn my brain off in a very chaotic moment in my, in my career. Uh, and although wonderful things were happening, it's equally as overwhelming as when terrible things are happening. It's, you, it's, you have very little ability to process that. And to go to the set and, and, and be with these people day in and day out, and, it, and there was no pecking order there. The, 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 the leads of the film were as gracious as though it were, everybody were of equal importance in the ensemble. And John really encouraged us to improvise. We, the stuff was written very well. But then when the camera was on you, even if you had a smaller role and didn't have a lot of lines in the scene, you got your coverage and you got to try whatever the hell you wanted and he would enthusiastically offer suggestions. So it was a very, very fun process. But the reason I'm here and I took time out of my schedule to, to, to fly to Austin, uh, not just to be a part of South by Southwest, which, which I've always uh, wanted to come to, I've been here for other festivals and screenings, was because I felt like this movie really could use the support and this is the type of movie that I think the execution is even better than the concept and I think that the people who've seen it and in a room where people could be twittering back and forth and the word gets out there, I think it's the people who see it and feel connected to it that will spread the word on it and so for me to be here to help maybe heat the flame up under that grassroots thing that's already starting to happen thanks to all you know, the webmasters in this room and who aren't it's important for a movie like this in this new landscape of film, uh, the way you release films, to be able to bust through all of the really expensive spending that goes on in bigger movies that surround us. You know, it's an honor to be here. Uh, if I have a uh, project with Vince coming up, uh, yeah, I, wrote, I wrote something called Couples Retreat, which we shot in Bora Bora, which will be coming out, I think, in October. Uh, with uh, Jason Bateman, myself, uh, uh, Vince, Face on Love. Was he was writing this script while we were shooting this film. Yes, sir. He wrote that script, and Iron Man came out and was doing like, I don't know, 10 bajillion, bajillion dollars <laughs> as we were shooting this. And, and I had a hernia. <laughs> I was getting vomited on. I, I, had, I was wearing a hernia belt because I wanted to take one for the team and not get us into insurance problems. And Jason was nice enough to, uh, to tell me, oh, don't worry, I had three. I had a triple hernia for carrying the weight of the world on my shoulders. <laughs> said, yes, I definitely want to do the movie, but I just have one request. I want to really throw up. <laughs> Why don't you elaborate? 
No, that's true. I, I, I just I, I just remember that every time you see somebody throw up in a movie, it just looks like they have a can of soup in their mouth. And we we talked, and then uh, and I said, be, I, I think that like there's got to be a way with Epicac or something that you can really throw up. And you see me talk, and then all of a sudden just throw up. How would you have felt yeah, about that? Yeah, I, I, you know, um, I wrote over to have been excited about that. No, I mean, I really wanted Paul to do the movie, so I, at that lunch, me and Jason Holly, I was like, dude, of, of course you're going to throw up. Uh, I wouldn't ever shoot it a different way. It's, it's just going to make it's everybody hate you. <laughs> Funny enough, I wasn't able to work it into this. I'm not joking. It is the, it is the dirtiest joke you'll ever hear. And it's in the Muppet movie. <laughs> I swear to God, featured uh, in the next couple episodes of How I Met Your Mother. <laughs> Actually, when, when John uh, approached me about doing the film, I was very busy, clearly, because uh, Iron Man actually did come out just as, as they started filming. Uh, and he said, but I, 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 wrote the, I wrote this part with you in mind. And I was like, oh, man, that's so nice. And then I, then I read the script and it says that I'm uh, 40 pounds overweight with a Jufro and a tiny penis. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks for thinking of me. I love you, Gabriel.